Assalamualaikum. My name is Sadia, and I'm going to explain you today how pay slip process is showing uh, in this HRMS. First of all, when you move to payroll a menu, then in uh, generate payroll, this process will be open. First of all, you have to select your location. Let's see, I have se I will select this location, and after selecting this location, this date drop down and this uh, views and list of all those employees whose payroll has not been generated will be showing here if i have this radio button if i have put it this radio button to preview and then select a particular employee to generate and then click on generate payroll it will generate this uh, employee payroll temporarily when i select this final button and then select this um, uh, employ and then generate payroll it will generate final payroll which will not be able to be uh, get um, changes or edited get edited see how this process is done first of all I have to create a payroll page ASPX page in which I have mentioned here a control name which is being used by this then I have given a title name and then this control has been called. control is just like this it will be showing all those employees at runtime from the database for that particular dates whose payroll has not been generated see uh, how its coding is has been done I have called here an object for the security class setup class payroll attendance class I have created an object for these classes then a data set name data bonus then on page load I have filled uh, that drop down location with all this location particular with that company ID you sign in and fill that uh, drop down month drop down to the date time now drop down radio button 1 and 2 that was uh, being one button is always being checked and the other one will always remain false then I have called, uh, I have created a function here named get allowances which will get all the allowances for that particular ID, for the selected particular ID. Here um, on selecting, as you see when I have selected that uh, the location from the drop down, then the other drop down of date, some uh, and the grid with having employee names is showing. So this is how it is done that on selected index change, it will select uh, it, it will create a data set having all the get all the location by id then label city label countries bind then employees are all bind panel preview which is having a final and a preview drop down is viewed and panel 2 which is having that grid is also viewed if this drop down is empty then it will not open and visible um, to any of the thing will be visible then on drop down month selected index whenever the month is changed every time mind uh, employees bind whenever the year is selected index change uh, employees are bind what bind employee function is doing it is just basically getting the location for that particular um, id for particular location particular company for that particular month and year all employees which uh, whom payroll has not been generated is uh, getting list of all those pay uh, payroll in a data set then we'll count over here if either it is greater than zero then it will generate uh, visible visible the button panel one button generate will be uh, visible and data source uh, data grid whose uh, name is cbl payroll is then bind it over here here button click pay button click uh, row uh, function is created which is having all which will get all the details from all the uh, separate modules then on selected drop down um, radio button changed it will select different values it will generate all the different values through this and some other calculation generate payroll function is doing calculating some other uh, to generate a payroll thank you